Hello YouTube, my last video was about to connect this class D amplifier to this splitter. This splitter was connected to this capacitor's bank, and the purpose of it was to build a symmetrical voltage from one DC boost converter power supply. Unfortunately, I wanted to test it with a class D amplifier, despite the fact my splitter worked very nice. Unfortunately, I have made a mistake and this board was destroyed due to a bad electrical connection. As you can see here, there is both voltage working very nice and coming from this splitter. There was no sign on the connector to connect it properly. So you need to see on the PCB the sign of decoupling capacitors and connect according this. There was no sign on the connectors to connect it properly. So you need to see on the PCB the sign of decoupling capacitors and connect according this. There is no more documentation about that. I am going now to show you this splitter working very well. And of course, the purpose is testing this symmetrical amplifier, which is actually not a fake. If I am fortunate, those MOSFETs are always alive and this is what I'm going to check. They are special, because they need to have high frequency abilities to work on a class D output amplifier stage. And they seem to work again. I found some dead components after my mistake. And to be honest, I hesitated to try a repair because I was pretty sure the main IC was dead. Fortunately, I found only some capacitors and diodes whose need to be changed. This is here the main IC, IRS 2092S integrated circuit. This is a very special IC, designed and engineered for this purpose. I changed the dead components and this is what it gave. The big plate you can see here is the new heatsink, because the new capacitors didn't allow me to keep this one after the repair. Also, I changed the fan, because the original one was very tired and dodgy. It's a little bit different fan, but the original one is not acceptable to flow air on a so little and powerful amplifier. As you can see, it was disposed like that, and I can't replace it at the same place, because I haven't SMD components, which permits this. The last heatsink is actually too much little to chill this amplifier. So, let's dismount this new heatsink. You can see mainly those two capacitors whose exploded, the same as this one. And here is the main diode that supplies the integrated DC-DC buck converter to supply the 12V fan. Fortunately, there is a lot of diode surrounding the IC and it would have saved the IC. I used some logic to connect the wires on this amplifier, but I finally made a mistake. There is no inscription on the PCB about polarities and ground. I just looked the polarity of decoupling capacitors. I put some marks here, but it was too late. This one goes to the minus of capacitors, and on this side, the tracks goes on the positive of the capacitor. This middle track is simply the ground, which need to be connected to the middle point. The power meter is something like that. It's a sketchy idea, but it's a nice way to display some power. It's made by a simple power meter, modified a little bit to give a dyno amplifier. You can see the custom homemade 4 ohm resistor to simulate a speaker load. There is two fans working here, because this resistor is able to reach incredible temperature. This is not an amazing dyno amplifier like this one. But for my purpose, it can be enough. Long live the cardboard. I have here two 12 volt 65 amp power supply, one for each boost converter. Each one has his own power supply. 
but this one just burned. Here you can see the voltage splitter which works nicely. And here the power bank capacitors. Useful to use the power amplifier properly. Here I have a sample multimeter connected to this little filter to show the maximal voltage on the 4 ohm resistor. The output signal is showed on the scope to see if the signal distortion is too much. I have some problem with the signal generator. It provoke an overcurrent on the boost converter switch stage. This happen on the boost converter and also on car amplifier. It produces an unknown signal which perturbate the switching IC. This is the reason I use this little MP3 player and it didn't break anything. It's just a pain to use it because it's not ergonomic. Micro switches for chubby fingers. You can see here the signals coming from the power box and you can see 80 uh, watts because uh, the main result is uh, with the kilowatts. And uh, we are going to display P real. We're going to display P real. P real. Uh, power real, uh, real is about 50 watts, nearly 50 watts. S means the power actually. Okay, let's do some tests. And you can see here the maximum voltage. I'm sending the, the high frequency sound uh, and you can see here and uh, if you unfortunately I, can, I cannot see the display be careful I'm going to push the power in this uh, little amplifier now look at the power Three hundred watts, but I'm going to do it again. As you can see, three hundred watts, and I'm going to go, go more. Four hundred and fifty watts. Four hundred, four hundred and fifty watts. You can see here a little bit more. And at this, at this time, the the power supply is uh, switched off. The power supply switch off because there is a protection against uh, lots of current and uh, I'm going to show you okay, to reset the power supply decrease the sound the heating element is very hot the resistance actually is very hot and you can see the signals and uh, I'm going to tell you how much power it, i it is. We are 100, 200, 470, 470, you can see some distortion. You are about 60 volt here. You can see 60 volt, nearly 60 volt here. And um, the the power supply is protected again, so I'm trying to, to redo again. Okay, let's see the power again. So you can see here the maximum voltage on 4 ohm, and you can see here the maximum One one hundred eighty watts, three hundred fifty, sixty volts here, which mean uh, lots of wat wattage, and here we are, five hundred watts, but something is going wrong. 
Ah, something is going really wrong. Aïe aïe aïe. Aïe aïe aïe. The resistor is taking fire. Oh yeah, it's suffering. So, here you can see the scope and the sinusoid and here you can see the screen of the power meter and the voltage on the on the, the demi load resistor so and see how much uh, how much power we can reach which is actually this voltage and you can see here a little bit of distortion and here there is no more distortion here there is no more distortion you have uh, for P real you have 250s and uh, for for S value you have 330 watts and um, this voltage is the voltage uh, for what you can expect a nice sound but if you want a sound with 10% of distortion you can use the power at uh, actually 480 watts with a little bit of distortion 60 volts on this uh, 4 on this uh, 4 ohm load so if i go further you will have and the power uh, the power switch off it's uh, this is the security mode so As you can see here, um, actually this uh, little uh, Chinese amplifier is, is not a bullshit actually, it really works and it gives the equivalent of 60 volts and 60 volts gives some, something like uh, if we calculate with a... okay 60 volts on the on this multimeter means 60 means 60 volt on the 4 ohm resistor and that's mean th then this uh, uh, little amplifier gives 450 uh, uh, watt rms and uh, i think the little uh, this little dissipator is this little heat sink is not enough actually it's a little bit dangerous to use it because when you are using at full power it can be very hot like this one uh, despite the fact I use this uh, big heat sink it becomes very hot so um, I used this uh, little power meter this is uh, with uh, made with a paper and uh, this is just for to make some experimenting and I, ha I have made this this uh, demi load myself with another resist a big resistor and uh, this is for the occasion so unfortunately for with experimenting i um, i destroyed this power supply this book uh, boost converter the the main uh, mosfet is dead i hope uh, it's very, it, it will be easy to repair and uh, the surprise is then this um, power splitter voltage splitter work very nice and despite all the power you can pull on it it, it uh, doesn't fill, fill me yet so this is uh, all for today I hope you like this video uh, it was Alexander again and tell you see you soon